Hey, plenty of good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a video reacting to Team Sweden holding off the Team Lafia comeback due to a great game by Lucas Walmark. Uh, Lucas Walmark uh, single handedly was really able to uh, fend them off. The only bad thing he did in this game was take a penalty uh, in the third period that then, um, I'm not going to pronounce his name right, but uh, Nicolas. Uh, Jello Sevenjevs, or however you say his name, he was able to fire an absolutely ridiculous uh, wrist shot. The guy that plays overseas for Team Lafia. And then we were able to get another goal for Team Lafia, um, which was later, or which was later in the second period, um, after the goal by Walmart that made it 3 0. Uh, Krastenbergs was able to score, which that was the one. He's the young player from Lafia at 23. A first time Olympian that was able to fire at home and wire at home, where their second goal was getting a nice backhand in front where he was able to bring it in close to his body and score. So that was a really nice play for Lafia as well. But Team Sweden holds off for the, their comeback as uh, Lars Johansson plays well enough in net and plays a really good game, honestly. And then Pune uh, Punenov, I guess is how you say uh, the name for the Lafian goaltender, he could use a little bit better rebound control just from watching this game, where I would say Johansson definitely played the better game, but he also plays in superior leagues, so it makes sense uh, going off of that. Um, Lafia, though, did play against Sweden, which obviously is more of a hockey powerhouse country than Lafia. Fantastic in this third period. And in after um, Walmart, like I said, scored the third goal, they really did make a huge push and played a huge great game after that it's just it was kind of they woke up a little bit too late if they started a little bit earlier they probably could have got going against the Swedes that have a couple former NHLers and guys that have been around the buck in the AHL a lot on their team where Lafayette doesn't have as much of those guys they have more of the foreign guys that have been always overseas and they still made all this great push and were able to make it a very fun and interesting game all the way to the bitter end and I think that's a huge testament to them that they got to get a B grade in this game for being able to do that because I thought Sweden when they were up to nothing was going to be able to run down the house with this one with the way Lucas Walmark was playing who again is one of the key players that was over in North America who's one of the most talented guys on their team in the Olympics and with the way that um, Holmberg was playing all of a sudden I thought Sweden was playing very fine tuned in this game and then Lafia makes a push and comes back so good for them but also good for Sweden due to the play by Johansson and the Swedes defense to be able to hold on and get this win so this has been a reaction to the Swedish team beating the Denmark team or beating Lafia excuse me three to two um when Lafia just doesn't have enough extra oomph on their team to be able to make the full comeback but really did make a game of it, and they deserve a lot of credit for that, and the Swedes deserve credit for holding on, but I thought it should have been tighter and much tighter in the third period. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Above and the easiest widget to continue to keep the channel growing to 200 by the end of February.